fighting crime seems to be the theme for the president today. But is this the answer? Maybe 100,000 more cops could be. Let's go to Ted Williams on that and what he thinks is at stake here. Hey, Ted, good to see you again. What do you make of what the president's proposing? Good to see you also. What do you think of what the president's talking about? 100,000 more police. We have to be serious about crime. It's a big worry for Americans. Does seem to be a bit of a pivot from what he was saying during the campaign. That was then. This is now. What do you think? Well, you're right. It's uh, He said other things uh, during the campaign. And now I do believe that we may very well be on the right track, Neil. Uh, I think 100,000 police officers over a five-year period is very much needed in these major metropolitan cities. The very problem, though, they have are the local politicians. Uh, as you know, Neil, uh, President Biden has never called for defunding the police. However, local politicians have. And in some cities, like uh, the District of Columbia, they have, in fact, a defunded police department. And as a result of that, crime has risen. And not only in the District of Columbia, but uh, throughout this country, crime is on a rise. So th these efforts to now look at more cops and, and get them out there on the beat, you know, flies in the face of a lot of big city mayors, a lot of blue city mayors who've been uh, saying a little more than a couple of years ago it was overdone, they couldn't be trusted, a lot of them for defunding the police. We've done a 180 from then. Absolutely. And, and it is, I, I'm happy to see that, Neil, because law-abiding citizens should want to feel safe in their communities, and they don't. Uh, you've heard me echo over and over again that law, the criminals are winning. And that mantra is uh, true and accurate in most of these unfortunate uh, metropolitan cities uh, that have talked about defunding the police. So, Ted, stepping back from this, the crime wave is real. The statistics are real. A lot of people say, oh, you pick and choose your videos and what you show. The fact of the matter is, of double digits in, in, in virtually every big American city right now, particularly in the New York area, as you know. And I'm just wondering um, whether this obviously addresses uh, the obvious, but I, I'm wondering if party loyalists who some say just have an inherent distrust of, of police and law enforcement whether that is a mixed message he's sending and whether that's going to annoy some in his party. Well, I think it is a mixed message, and I think it will annoy some, uh, let's say, on the Democratic side, that have uh, continued to try uh, to have Biden's ear about defunding the police rather than giving police officers more money. But on the other side, the Republicans most recently, Neil, have fallen into a trap by talking about defunding the FBI for a legitimate and lawful raid that they took that took place there at their Mar a Lago there in Florida. Uh, so uh, there's a pox on both of their houses, Neil. And the sad commentary is the citizens are the ones who are suffering as a result of the politics of this. I just wish that sometime or another in America that we could come together for the, the citizens and look out for the little citizens in this country rather than to be concerned about the, the funding movement or refunding movement. It's, it's just ridiculous. But, you know, Ted, you raise a very interesting point. Both parties send very mixed message on this. Republicans who essentially bashing the entire FBI, including the agents behind uh, you know, that raid on, on Donald Trump's Florida home, following orders to find out what documents he had there and equating it uh, with the highest brass running the place. Uh, so they do seem to have a, a split view of law enforcement. Now, of course, uh, this on the Democratic side that now loves the FBI and loves what it did there and, and, and you know, extols all their great qualities, uh, but not too long ago was, was looking at them quite differently. So why do we keep doing this? You know, the uh, definition of insanity is doing the same thing over yeah. and over and expecting different results. And that's an excellent question. Why do we keep doing this? Uh, it's like, Neil, we're not concerned about 
the law-abiding citizens. We're more concerned about political agendas. We're concerned about whether a raid was legitimate in Mar-a-Lago. We're concerned on the left about whether uh, we can get more money for other organizations other than police departments. Uh, we are the divided states of America, Neil, rather than the United States of America, and that's unfortunate for American citizens. So I'm wondering if the tone or the message uh, coming from Republicans, uh, you know, that put almost a pox on all uh, the FBI, that I'm sure wasn't their intention, and maybe to finger those who might be politically motivated in, in their raid of a presidential home. But the message is unmistakable to Americans. Don't trust the FBI or don't trust this branch of law enforcement. So you, I, I cannot see, and Democrats included, who just flip that argument, that you're sending any consistent message to the American people that you believe, by and large, in law enforcement of any and all type, uh, maybe not every individual act, but you stand by them. You know, Neil, there is no... The law-abiding citizens in this country have no confidence, unfortunately, in law enforcement. And I think it's all because of the political uh, uh, mainstream uh, that's out here right now. Uh, you just talked about it. We need the FBI. The FBI, though, a lot more than just uh, serve warrants on Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. The FBI is there to protect us from international as well as national terrorists, or domestic terrorists, should I say. So, I, you know, uh, we've got to stop in this country and back up, and we've got to assist law enforcement. And, Neil, you have heard me say, if you've got rotten law enforcement officers, get rid of them. But the mass majority of the men and women who serve us in this country a good, legitimate, uh, law-abiding police officers who just want to do a job for us, the citizens. Stand behind them or don't do anything. Uh, you're right about that, Ted Williams. Always good catching up with you, my friend, and thank you for your perspective. In, in one interview, you can alienate both sides. I marvel at that unique skill, Ted, so thank you again. Uh, Ted Williams, a Fox News contributor, former D.C. homicide detective, defense attorney, so you got the whole package right there. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.